I have with me today is the 2020. Twenty thousand SW Stella. Okay, before I start. Okay, I finished pre-servicing. No more tick tick tock tock. The whole reel, basically, in a very 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 general conclusion, there is not much of difference compared to the two zero one three. Other than that, uh, water ingression improvements, then the backup. After sales service design, which is for service more for servicemen, they design the anti reverse into two piece, you no know, easier. In short, I will tell you guys, prevention is better than cure. This is why they do put in a lot of effort making all the water sealing design. Okay, you can see I removed the spool, and you look at the washer, just only one little small washer. Okay, and then. As I advised before, they actually improve. Okay, they counter it by removing this top arbor here, the the, the cupping area. They design to a two piece design. Then after that, they pot holes. They potted holes so that the water can drain out. And of course, if you can look closely. They close up the gap here between the rotor, between the rotor and the body. Can you see that? They try to minimize as much vacuum area as possible. The word is vacuum. Okay, they try to minimize. So these are the things that they improve on the outside. And now, as you can see, they bring back the blue o-ring those who have encounter and know what i'm talking about you know what this o-ring is okay this o-ring started all the while from the first generation of the stella okay the 2001 onwards or the year 2000 and this rubber o-ring the first batch or the production from i don't know who have issue is it tends to soften Okay, it softened first. Now it's very firm and stretchy. After that, it start to degenerate or disintegrate. It will start to soften, soften first. Then it starts to harden back. And when it's hardened, it starts to crack. Then a lot of times the old Stella, right? It likes, when you crack it, right? It like, you will get stuck. You'll get stuck around the rotor here. Then you feel your real like jam up. Actually, it's this stupid rubber. <laughs> causing that issue and okay you see they alter a bit of the so-called water ingression design is they actually put a, a cone shape around this can be removed okay they design a cone shape to create a so-called tighter vacuum and lesser space for the water to go in okay between the rotor and this then of course, they also redesigned the anti-reverse system. This is an uh, anti-reverse by itself, like the twin power. Okay, it's a two-piece now. So in any time, if this were to rust, they just need to remove the whole thing. Okay, and it replace one new one down. That's all. The previous one was embedded inside. So a lot of times, the bearing itself, right? The pinion gear bearing, everything start to jam. This whole thing is very difficult to pull out. And as well as quite a number of um, disadvantages than advantages, in fact. So this is a good improvement, okay? Not design, this is a, just an improvement, that's all. Okay, as you can see, I fasten up. Then for this reel, I have one issue. I won't say issue, I'll probably make it as a critique, okay? Some, a lot of people I use critique, then use critics. They redesigned the since they redesigned the whole anti-reverse area, right? Then of course they use back the old blue coloring here and there, blah blah blah. So what I realized is if you guys can see, look closely, there is a gap here. I have this this grease belongs to me. This we already pre-service, just like I said. The video I did before wasn't very nice, so I redo after I fix up. So I, I remember I redo again. So I actually pump grease inside. 
very diluted grease. There is a big gap right here. I foresee that it will trap salt water, but it will not ingress. Okay, the salt water will be trapped inside here, but it will not ingress into the body itself because they have a main frame gasket, which I will show you in a while later. Okay, so regarding the anti reverse, see, just remove by itself. So the thing, the good thing is a lot of plastic, so there won't be any chances for the metal to fuse up. So I believe from the way I strip the wheels, right? Shimano idea for the new 2020 is they are trying to prevent a lot of uh, metal and metal infusion. Anyway, the pinion gear color is different. Uh. I will edit and I will show you what is the difference, the color difference. Okay, I just use the word color uh, because it's obviously the material got some changes. So other than that, the whole system, everything is the same as the 2013. You know, they keep the dogging for the bigger models. Then I'm going to remove the main cover. See? As you can see where I talk about the water treatment, right? You see there's one big gap here. Okay, look at the gap, but they have a gasket here, previous one from the 2013 model, that rubber is not fitting and often, often people who took out or remove, open up the reel, they pull back, they often break, they cut off, you know, when you place two frame together, they actually compress and cut off the rubber themselves, so the water went in. Other than that, I like the new rubber seal here. Okay, it's very fitting, see? All across the edge. Okay, I'm looking forward. Okay, is that hopefully this part, the hole here, does not fail me or does not fail any anglers. Okay, all the big hole, the big pot here, although yes, there's a, there's a gasket. No, they sits around here, okay, to protect it, to cover up the hole. But like I say, it's not in. There's nothing is inevitable. There will be a way the water will get in, okay. If you keep, if you keep living by the boat side to splash water, all right. This is my simplest review for the 2020 Stella. Okay, it, it involves 18,000, 20,000, and 30,000. Other than that, at least this will, it will prevent water from getting in. Okay, I believe the Shimano's, they are pioneer, they are professional enough to understand what can come in, will sure can come out. Yes, but what goes in, everything inside contaminated. So you guys decide whether you want to get your internal contaminated, then you find a way to get rid of it, or you try to prevent as much contamination as possible. Okay, so like I said, prevention is better than cure. Think about it. Thanks.